welcome to your third math test that you're going to be taking. There's always two parts to the math test, the power-up and then the regular test. I'll start with the power-up. You guys are working on switching whole numbers to mixed numbers. Remember, we do that by dividing top number in the box, bottom number outside the box, and then you make it as a mixed number. Then on the bottom, you're doing improper fractions. Remember, we multiply whole number times the denominator, add the numerator. So I'll go back and I'll give you an example of both of them. I divide 2 into 5, it goes in there twice, I have 1 left over, so it's 2 and 1 half. Bumped improper fractions of 1 and 1 half. I take 2 times 1, I get 2, I add 1 to it, I get 3, it's written 3 over 2. Okay, then they have the challenge problem that says this, Sarah remembered that the three numbers she used to open her combination were 32, 60, and 8, but she couldn't remember the order. List all the permutation arrangements of the three numbers Sarah could try. Guys, this is lesson 8 where we did this for uh, problem solving way back then. So if you want to look at lesson eight to get some help, go for it. But remember, I always take how many numbers there are. There's three numbers, and I just do three times two times one. That's six. You need six different combinations of those three numbers. Guys, there's extra credit on the back. Take your time to do these three extra credit. I put the extra credit onto your test to help you with the uh, your test grade. This is the most important grade you get in math class. Okay, speaking of uh, your math test, do your work writing these problems and write your answers right here. On the back side, it's a lot of just math, guys. And some of you are just writing down your answers. Great. Google can pass third grade math as you type in 735 times 14. I'm not interested if Google can pass math. I'm interested if you can pass math. So you got to show your work and get that. Now, by all means, feel free to use that calculator and check your answer. But show your work first to see if you got it. So I want you to do the multiplication and then when you get it wrong go back and say hey that wasn't right and try it again until you get it and it checks out. So I love the checking but it's not where we start guys. We use calculators to check our work not to do our work. Alright, blessings on your test.